What's up guys, this is Sean from Shooty School. I'm gonna freestyle a video for you today. We're just gonna look at the MIDI learn button real quick. And as we look at that, we're gonna notice all the cool new articulations in Easy Drummer 3. And we're gonna take a peek at this little document I've been making the past week. I've just been putting a few minutes in it at a time. I'll show you a draft. I'll release the draft to you if it's something that interests you. Um, because in Easy Drummer 2, they used to have that uh, layout that MIDI map layout so you knew what all the notes and all the numbers were at one glance and they don't have this yet and hopefully it's coming but if they don't I created this to get you by so let's get started. MIDI Learn is super simple and it's an amazing new feature. I've got these two little MIDI controllers on my desktop. I got a tiny little crappy piano and by crappy I mean I love it because the price was right so this is in case I need a quick melody I might just do 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 and I got like a little finger drumming it's an oldie it's a MPD 18 over there it's just got 16 pads you hammer on it for drum beats I got a nicer keyboard over on the wall I'll drag it out if I'm taking myself seriously you know but the MIDI learns fantastic let's just say you know that's a C2 or a C3. Oh, it's a C3 because it's in the center of the keyboard. In case you want to learn something, whatever C is closest to the center of your keyboard or piano, there's a 99 point whatever percent chance that is C3. And then you can count out from there. So there's C3 and that's a hi-hat. And what if for some reason you were particular, this is more important to someone who's on an E kit who's hitting a snare drum. He wants that note, but I don't feel like getting behind my kit right now. Let's just say for some reason you were hell-bent on that being a snare drum. So I could just go into its settings, eDrums. I already clicked on it. It brings up this dialog box. And the snare drum is what I want. And instead of velocity, which is great, they got a velocity curve you can manipulate right here. That's for another day. That's to compensate for how hard or how light you play compared to the average drummer. And you make up for that there. But let's go to mapping. And the center hit is actually a D1, not a C3. And I want it to be a C3, so I just hit the Learn button, and it's that easy. That's not bad for my left hand thumb right there. It's, it's pretty cool. Let, oh, does undo work in the unlearn? Let's see. Hey, undo works. Cool. So that's actually cool to know right there. Um, if you decided you don't like the note you learned, you changed your mind last minute like I just did right now, you can hit undo. And then when I was hanging out in here, I was going, oh, wait, what's up with the articulations? Of course, their snare drum in Easy Drummer 3 has gotten smarter. If you go through a lot of the old Easy X's, you know, um, the, not of all of them have a trigger zone, a zone trigger. And whenever you see trigger, and uh, I'm going to, even though I click on it, something happens. But um, whenever you see the word trigger in the articulations, that's just for an e-drum kit. So don't even think about it, right? And zone control is here. I wonder what it controls. It's probably like if you want to play with like brushes and scratch the top of the head. I'm honestly not sure. I'm ignorant. But that's why there's a CC value on the snare. And again, if you mostly work in a piano roll or an inside Easy Drummer 2, you're not even going to be thinking about these things. I doubt it anyway, right? But uh, yep, there's center edge I believe rim shots when you hit the snare and the side at the same time and edge is probably not hit, hitting in the center but closer to the side which gets more of the ringing out and a uh, side stick for those lovely ballads you want to romance your sweetheart with and new is rim only uh, maybe we found it here and there in the easy X's some easy X's specialized in an articulation but rim only is there Anyway, I'm going to move faster because I don't want to bore you guys to death. All the toms, at least in the Easy Drummer 3 kits, they also have a rim only and a rim shot. So, I'm not an elite professional drummer, so I always think a rim shot on a tom should sound a little different and actually hear the rim more. But Easy Drummer, uh, Tune Track's interpretation of a rim shot on a tom just means a more punctual you know, transient, a more knocking hit. Good way to, you know, you're trying to do drum fills and, you know, velocities work and, you know, you you know, you ramp that up and then you add a couple rim shots on the top and can really simulate some cool 
velocities except add a different tone it's fun so you know and that is the is the rim shot so and what oh and then someone told me this i went oh yeah and i forgot about it for a week the symbols all have two zones now that is freaking amazing it's really cool so you know me as a hard rock metal guy i'm always hitting the edge of the symbol you know with the shank of the stick but th that's me uh whenever another drummer sits down who's probably way more educated than i am you know they like to hit with the tip of their stick and not on the edge and it's a totally different tone and now that's an option and what's super sweet is you know a lot of us who have reasonably modern kits mine's really old but it's Roland so Roland's been doing this for a while they have the zones on the cymbal so it's a huge deal huge deal and uh and of course Easy Drummer 3 has given us better squelch options thanks to the new grid editor so if you just use the squelch generically and hit it hard it's just going to stop at a certain time or you hit it light it'll stop at a certain time you just get two options that's how it was in easy drummer 2 so they've upped that game in easy drummer 3 i look forward to getting into that with you guys and the ride articulations now in the easy x's and easy drummer 2 they were now and then they would get crazy with the articulations and by default this has more articulations than normal not this one nope so that's standard i'll just skip it and then the hi-hat is a typical freaking labyrinth <laughs> of articulations. I don't remember seeing that many, but I haven't thought about it in a while. I don't remember seeing that many open tip articulations. You know what? If we look at the, the note numbers instead of the key, see how low the numbers go now and how high the numbers go now? These are different new articulations, so stuff has been added there. It's fantastic. But... um. So anyway, that's that's super awesome for you Easy Drummer 2 people. You Easy Drummer 3 people are like, all right, yeah, I, I bought that, cool. But uh, if you're upgrading from Easy Drummer 2 and looking at this stuff, you might be like, oh, yeah, we've been using that old stuff for eight years. This is new stuff, you know. But anyway, one thing that bothers me is when you go into the help menu, there's operation manual there's about and there's online support there's about easy drummer 3 there's no pdf file to list every instrument every articulation and every numeral midi note and every uh theoretical i don't even know how to say it right now letter you know is it an a sharp is it a a you know sharp two blah 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 that stuff's not there to view it, you got to go in the E drums and you got to click on the drum you want. You got to find it, click on the drum you want to find it. And that kind of works if you're sitting down at an E kit and you're, you're MIDI learning every single note on your kit because you got to do that anyway. But that's one type of person that uses Easy Drummer 3. That's not the rest of us. I use it that way too when I play my E kit. But uh, when I pull up a keyboard in front of me, I don't want to just start MIDI learning some crazy unorthodox thing that disobeys uh, the standard of drum MIDI. There is a standard of drum MIDI, by the way, if you've ever left tune track, there's a standard of drum MIDI. And I want to see those familiar notes and just have that in front of me and go, oh yeah, there it is, there it is. And I, I want to see what all the notes are and work quickly, not have to dive into this and go, there's that one note, there's that one, oh, okay, let's go over here, there's that one note. So I ended up making this guide. Keep in mind, this is a draft. It's not really easy to look at, but I'm not sure how to make it easy to look at. But um, this has every articulation, numeral and letter on every single kit piece all at one time. So you just, whatever you want to know, you just look at it and there it is. And for you guys that uh, don't have perfect eyesight, I'm getting there pretty fast. You might have to throw your glasses on, apologize. But uh, this, uh, this is just my first draft. I'm going to get back to it someday in the future. But it is it might be valuable to someone right now. So I just wanted to do a pre-release. This is the draft version. Critiquing it myself now that I made it this far. You know, the uh, the text and, and all the MIDI notes and numbers. Um, you know, they need to be bigger. But at the same time, the cool graphical part of it will suffer. So i got to figure that out. And I think I should turn it also into like a black and white, more text-like um format so for 
for the older dudes that still use a printer you know they might want to print it out or something like that but I'm not there and I'm gonna put this project back down for a little while and get back to it but I am looking for feedback on it you heard my own critique of my work what do you think what's cool about this is even though I have the bright room mini map map guide up um, this map guide works for the three easy drummer kits uh, across the board doesn't matter what kit you have up I chose this kit because it has the most pieces every other kit has less pieces or possibly less articulations so this covers every single one so that's all and I'll put a, a link in the description I'll, I'll link it to my G Drive a public G Drive link so you can get a high-res version or if you're just like on your phone or whatever and farting around and want to check it out for a second just go full screen with this video and do a screen cap I'll take my face off it for a second you gotta pause it though and uh, check it out and you know and my my emails on there in case you know th oh that's the thing is another reason why I made this I I wanted to make this day one when it came out but I've noticed other people in similar shoes than myself that want this and I've seen them posting uh, I think T-Bone just posted the other day about it so this is for you buddy and um, so if you see if you're like me and you're kind of socializing or networking with other tune trackians tune trackians it's like okay all right some sci-fi stuff right there and you see them bring that up first of all do them a favor and help them out and tell them this exists which in turn helps me out because as all you all you guys that are actually frequent me and are regulars you know i'm trying to grow my channel hardcore right now so that helps everybody out so recommend it to someone and i'm definitely open to feedback about this you know how do i get this design to work where it still looks cool but it has all this data-driven information it's from my design skills it's hard for me just to go boom that's the solution this is the best I could do in probably about you know two or so hours a time maybe probably three hours a time so that's what I can do in about three hours anyway this shot from shooty school um, not a super exciting one today but my work week's about to start tomorrow morning and I wanted to get something out there before I'm, I'm stuck you know doing labor for a while so Hope you guys rock on. Like and subscribe. Come to my Facebook uh, group. Uh, come to my Discord group. It's all. It's a great tune track community there. Consider contributing if I've ever made your day. But please comment if you're digging it. Please comment. That is my request. And if you have nothing to say, just like put some horns or put some dots or just say hi, and I'll just say hi. Stuff like that. All right. Rock on.